Hi everybody, this is Dr. Henson. I just wanted to make a video uh, for you today because of an experience I had with one of my patients and I thought that I would just share some of this information. It might prove helpful for some people and uh, might um, shed some light on potential problems that some of you may be dealing with. But, you know, I'm an applied kinesiologist, but I'm also a chiropractor. And so chiropractic is one of the tools I use to help my patients. And this lady came in to see me today and she had low back pain as well as uh, hip pain. And one of the things we found with her is that she had a muscle or two um, that were short circuiting that weren't allowing you know her pelvis and her low back to stay stable and it just so happened that that particular muscle on both sides of her body is associated with kidney function and so in applied kinesiology one of the things I always try to explain to my patients is that organs and muscles are associated and so certain muscles will malfunction whenever the organ associated with that muscle is under stress and so in her case, um, because these muscles are associated with the kidneys, the one of them, or the two that support her low back, we put some water in her mouth and went back to retest those muscles and both of the muscles tested much stronger than before. So I knew that there was a probable dehydration involved. But then as we dug a little further, we figured out there was something else affecting her kidneys and that is her blood pressure medicine. So one of the common side effects of blood pressure medicine can be low back pain. And the reason for that is because blood pressure medicine can oftentimes put some stress and burden on the kidneys. And of course the muscles associated with the kidney can malfunction. So one of the biggest things I stressed to her was the importance of water intake, but also we needed to provide nutrient support in order to help her uh, kidneys better tolerate and handle the stress that her uh, medication was putting on that. So just keep that in mind if you're dealing with low back pain and you happen to be on um, blood pressure medicine and perhaps you went and had some uh, manipulation done in order to help alleviate some of that pain but it continues to return so keep in mind that that could very well be due to the blood pressure medicine you're taking and then there's ways to support the kidneys without having to take someone off their blood pressure medicine so keep that in mind and uh, I hope that information is helpful and if you have any further questions about that feel free to leave me a message thanks a lot talk to you later